hang out. You know, we kind of put two and two together. We figured the gym was warm. He wouldn't let us drive him back home. We took him to a bus stop. He gets out the bus stop, and as we're driving away, and I'm seeing him sitting there, and I'm thinking, there's just something not right here. So I go to school on Monday morning. I start asking questions. This is a lily white school. And I'm on my 10th person. They're all scratching their head looking like I'm some idiot. I go, I'm sorry. He is 6'6", 350 pounds, and black. Don't act like you don't see him walking down the halls, people. <laughs> Y'all give stupid answers as teachers sometimes. You have that deer in the headlight look for a parent talks to you. <laughs> really? You know who he is. Well, yeah, but he ain't gonna make his grades. He, he don't go to play. I don't have any interest. Well, all right, dummy, he's 6'6". Six, six. I would have a deep interest in that if I was a basketball coach, but I'm an interior designer, so, you know, whatever. Turned to him, I said, ask him if he'll let me just take him shopping. Can you do that? I'd like to just get him some clothes that would be appropriate for the season. I'll ask him, but I'm sure he won't let you go and talk to anybody. He won't, he won't go with you. 20 minutes later, he calls me. He said, he said he'd go. I went, oh, good. So I picked him up, just like the movie showed. Took him shopping. Got him that rugby shirt. He was on TV yesterday, and someone said, you didn't really pick out that rugby shirt. And I got tickled because he hesitated, and he went, yeah, I did. <laughs> As an interior designer, I sure didn't pick out that rugby shirt, I can tell you. And we had this instant bonding. And I realized how deep his needs truly were. And I thought, this is an amazing young man, but there just seems to be huge gaps. So one day led to another, and a day led to a week, and a week led to a month. And Michael kept being around more and more and more and more until suddenly he was living with us. But this is a young man that historically had gotten off of a bus at the busiest intersection in Memphis, Tennessee. Probably 30, 40,000 cars a day go by this intersection. And I truly believe that if Michael had had a massive heart attack right there on the sidewalk on the way to school, that no one would have known no one would have cared. It would have taken months to find someone to notify. His father was dead probably six months before anyone was notified of who he was. But yet, you take this young man into your home, into your classroom, into your church, and you love him, and you give him hope, an opportunity, and it will change a life, because I've seen it. It will become infectious, and you'll have Christmas every day. Thank you so much, and God bless you all. Thank you.